it's just such a relief to live a lifestyle where you can just completely relax. Like, you can just completely relax. Where you just get to know that there's, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with anything we think and feel. That everything is just the, the dynamic potency, dynamic potency of our mind. And having a community, a teacher, a root teacher, and training and practice that just reminds us of that introduces us again and again to the beneficial nature of everything as it is. And if we just stop thinking for a moment, what remains? Bright, cognizant, alert, open intelligence remains. Open like the sky. The nature of our mind forever clear, always present, <laughs> always powerful. And you can see that everything that we think, feel, experience is inseparable from it. All the data streams, the display constantly changing, unpredictably. An open intelligence remains stable, reliable. And we can always rely upon it. So no, no matter what is coming up for us, we, we acknowledge this bright, incredible intelligence at the basis of all experience. And in short moments, short moments, acknowledging short moments, returning to that recognition empowering the nature of mind, empowering beneficial potency, acknowledging our beneficial potency. No matter how we've described any of the sensations in our body or experiences through our life. Letting all descriptions be as they are, letting all data streams be as they are, stepping into our power in each moment in that way, stepping into our power, acknowledging beneficial potency. And can see for me just that the practice of short moments, no matter what is coming up, is key and primary. Just to relax deeply and rely on open intelligence. Just is the most incredible way to live. And then I just see stepping into complete naturalness of myself as I am. So my data streams as they are, everything I think and feel, is my opportunity for complete empowerment. And after a life of trying to have specific data streams and fit a certain idea of myself of how I needed to be in order to be empowered, to be a good person. Discovering that in short moments I can just let everything shine forth as it is and complete empowerment is present. Beneficial potency is the nature. And just when we are just completely open to ourselves in that moment, we discover it for ourselves. No matter what the descriptions are saying, no matter what is going on there, we just let it be as it is, let everything flow on by and directly experience for ourselves short moment by short moment benefit, immediate benefit. And so in... I used to spend so much time thinking about my data and trying to fix it and get it right. And, um, and I just see how that's wound down in short moments of relaxation, 
the attempt to fix myself and change myself. And through the assurance of all of the four mainstays, seeing that I can just relax more with everything that's coming up. And so in just seeing in that what comes about is such a, a great love and commitment to letting myself be as I am, to being of benefit. And, um, and really, it's just, just the greatest kindness just to let ourselves be as we are, completely natural. And so if we're feeling that we're passive in short moments or if we describe ourselves in that way, I totally understand your question. Like I really do. And what I see for myself is I've definitely had a period of time where I, I wanted to be sure I was of benefit. I wanted to know I'm of benefit. Like in a situation arising and not, not knowing, am I going to be of benefit? So feeling I would just rest deeply. Rest deeply until it becomes clear. So that's greatly powerful. I found just to find what grows is a natural confidence in my potency in that. And unavoidably, just having to act in the right time. Like, just... So, also having... Seeing, having my trainer when not feeling sure. Reaching out for support. Asking for clarification the gift of having another person who's gone before, like a mountain guide, someone who knows the path, knows the pitfalls, knows which crags to jump over, which narrow paths are safe, which ones aren't. Stepping boldly ahead, and we look up, and they turn round and offer their hand every single time without fail. So it's just for us to look up. That's all we need to do. Reach out our hand. It can feel like taking a leap sometimes. Sometimes it is. Over a, maybe a, a small ravine. <laughs> <laughs> but we jump. We jump in short moments short moments of complete trust in our own power, in the nature of mind, knowing that we can never fall. Open intelligence always on, always supporting, always empowering, everything, everything. You can feel it right now in our body, like the fizz, the energy, the great energy, the great potency. Our minds, vast, travelling everywhere in an instant. Can't mute it down, wouldn't want to, so let just let it all run free. Great power in each instant. And so drawing on the support of the four mainstays, drawing on the empowerment of the four mainstays, we just get used to it. We get used to how powerful we each are, with no limit. And in that, we just open up. And for me, in, um, in first meeting the four mainstays, I'd say it was a real mind scrambler. <laughs> it's probably how I'd best say it. It was like... Zzz, zzz. <laughs> Never experiencing, never meeting anything like it before in my life like a real power blast, not knowing where to place it in the usual frames of reference. Like, so everything coming up, it, feeling it feel deeply uncomfortable, <laughs> at the same time as clear recognition of open intelligence, unavoidable recognition of open intelligence, shining through. For me, it's just so profound to see that, that, no matter what I was thinking and feeling, 
continuing on, continuing on, open intelligence, shining brightly, benefit, moving everything on, moving everything on.